everyone again. Welcome. We're up to week five. Wow, how this is going. It's going mad. Anyway, I've got a few things, a couple options for you today. I, I was walking around, saw all the autumn leaves. Um, it's not to do with printmaking, but I thought um, take advantage of what's around. So have a look at Andy Goldsworthy. And if you can find, like, there's some beautiful, beautiful coloured leaves. And if you want... Have a look what Andy Goldsworthy does with these leaves. He he, he sorts them out in colours, and um, he some of the things he does with them are amazing. But if you guys wanted to have a play around with colours, sort out all the reds and put them. You can cover rocks with just one colour. Then you can or gradate going from growing from yellow leaves right up to right up to bright red leaves. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to do. And that's more of an installation rather than um, a print. But if you want to have a go at that, have a go at that. Uh, so today I was going to get you to look at a few, there's a few artists, Hokusai. Hokusai did the wave print. He's uh, amazing, well, was amazing, uh, a woodcut. That, so it's relief printing is what I wanted you to look at. It's hard to do relief printing when you're at home. I thought about it. But how are these kids going to be able to do this? So um, I thought, you know, clay, you'll be able to design something into clay. And then I thought not everyone's got clay. So then I thought, okay, we'll make up some dough. And then make your image out of the dough. Then I'll, print it. I'll show you how to do that. So um, Hokusai is, is a relief print. But then I thought, you know, you could look at Bazlitz. We haven't really looked at uh, any expressionistic. It's all been sort of realism. So have a look at have a look at George Bazlitz's work. Um, a German expression. He does printmaking as well, but he's mainly painting. And then he turns his work upside down. Uh, great. Really good to look at. So just um, I just got some flour some flour, added some water, mixed it up, got into a dough. I've made one here. Just, just that's that's all that is. Flour and water. Made a dough up. Now then, you're going to, you can you can do whatever you want. Like, I, I even thought you could do something, keep it simple. Um, I thought you could look at um, Van Gogh's sunflowers and make sunflowers and then, and then do that. But I thought I'll do a fig because I like people. So I'm just going to quickly do a head. Do some arms, do a body, and um, then some legs. Just yeah, this is just flour and water. So I'm go I'm not I'm not going to be too. So what I thought the idea of while I was thinking of doing this is so you could get different marks and different. Look into that. You could even you could even stick things into it to to be almost like a collage print, um, and then ink it up. And but yeah, anyway. But let's keep it simple for now. If, but if you want to play with that more, you can. So I've got my little figure. Give him a, changed him up. Bang. So that's my little figure I've made out of out of um, dough. Then you could. Yeah, you could play with different. Sorry, I'll get some bits and things, and you could you could. Well, first before you do that, you need to squash it flat. So get some paper or something, and kick and squash it flat. Now he's looking like that. So now I've got to fix him up. So I'm going to cut away, get some scissors, open him up, cut away so he's a little bit more proportion. Cut around. And shape him up. So yeah, if you had clay, if you had play-doh at home, you had clay, you can do that with the thing with with um with dough. It's 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 not as precise as clay or or plasticine. It, it sort of bounces around. But I sort of I enjoy a bit of that. I enjoy the sort of um, happy accidents. But if you want to use clay, you can do it with clay. And if you wanted to do, you know, you can, you can do, you can do a border around with with plasticine. You could, you could actually just roll it out with clay and, and draw into it. So I've just trimmed him up a bit now, and I've given him a little, little shadow underneath. You know, I like shadows. Now I'm going to paint him up. So I'm going to paint him up. I'm going to just use blacks. Then I'm 
if if you have a look at Bazlitt's work, he, he does some. Be- it's all about texture. His paintings are all about texture and all. So uh, and uh, they're just beautiful. But um, have a look at his work, and we'll try to see if we can sort of mimic some of his his work, but with is a print. So I'm just gonna get some. I've got some yellows, some reds. I'm going to. So you could even look at having one side. Of if you're doing a figure, you know, one side warms and the other side cools. So I might do reds on one side, reds and oranges on one side of the body. Then I'm going to do blues and greens on the other side of the body. And then you get yourself a piece of paper and we do like we do our mono prints. And we rub it down. Yeah, don't push too hard, she's going to explode, but you've got to be, make sure you've got everything. So, and there's our little fella. So, you could, now Bazlitz then would turn it upside down and hang them upside down. But have a, have a play with that, you can do all sorts, you don't have to do a figure. You can do, yeah, as I said, Van Gogh sunflowers, you could do trees, you could do, but the idea of um, you can mould the plasticine or, or the, the, the dough into whatever shape you want and then take a print from that. Good, good. Keep having fun, keep creating. Go.